Hello and welcome to this Tales from the Hut and Hangar Aviation Rarities episode about the Tumaneca Trans Bella One. The Bella One was a prototype proof of concept for a much larger planned version called BARS or B-A-R-S and that translated into airfieldless aircraft with aerostatic unloading. It was first developed in the 1980s to the 1990s by Russian engineer and designer Alexander Filimonov and he worked for JSC Tumaneca Trans and the Siberian Scientific Research Institute of Aviation, that's the SIBNIA. The Bella One achieved financing in 1987. Work was fully underway by 1989, and the simplest way to describe it, it was a Stoll three-engine monoplane. Using its air cushion landing system like a hovercraft, it could operate in harsh climates from any unprepared hard or soft surface or conventional runway. After a short takeoff run, the combination of aerostatic lift, propulsive lift, and increasing aerodynamic lift gets the aircraft quickly into the air. So simply when it takes off, the big fan power is reduced, and the aircraft flies pretty much like a conventional aircraft. The aerostatic lift reduces the power requirements in all flight modes, climb, cruise, and descent. This all-in-one aircraft, for example, would save changing aircraft configurations on aircraft like the Antonov 2 from wheels, floats, and skis, so that would save downtime, it also considerably offer more range and endurance over a helicopter, and the hovercraft skirt capability would be ideal for any surface it would operate from. Two 210 Teledyne Continental piston engines pushed it along, and the third one of 110 horsepower was located inside the vertical tunnel that passed through the centre of the disc-shaped middle part of the wing. This circular section would contain helium lift gas cells in the considerably large, in fact massive, BARS aircraft version. The company listed future potential applications for the aircraft, and that was the construction and repair of pipelines, timber processing and moving, servicing oil and gas fields, and also use as a fire bomber. The new Great Silk Road cargo transportation route across Russia was also proposed, and that was using heavy lift airships, and using them as mother ships, and operating from them would be a Bella One type aircraft, and this would propose as a rescue vehicle plus a smally, highly manoeuvrable, unmanned remote control version of it. The BARS aircraft would be capable of speeds of around 300 kph, much faster than airships and most helicopters. It would also have a much longer range than helicopters. Its large load carrying capability is scalable up to 500 metric tonnes and able to carry much greater loads than helicopters and most airships and aircraft. This beast would have short takeoff and landing or stall capabilities, and that's from any surface, ground, water, marsh, snow, ice, or a conventional airstrip. And it would be able to operate without any ground crew, more like an aircraft or a helicopter than an airship. It'd be good in crosswinds with stability on the ground, much like a conventional aircraft. High efficiency, lower cost of transportation, along with lower cost per mile than helicopters. In 1991, the USSR collapsed and the newly formed Russia was gripped by a severe economic crisis. All this delayed work on the single Bella prototype until 1994. And according to test pilot Boris Dmitriev, and he said the aircraft performed responsibly and demonstrated good stability. The flight took place at a very low altitude. It didn't climb higher because the engines were weak. There simply wasn't enough money for more powerful ones. But shortly after this flight, the project was stopped due to a lack of funding. But that wasn't the end. In 2012, the European Commission allocated over €700,000 to test the concept under the new name of ESTOLAS, and that stood for Extremely Short Takeoff and Landing on Any Surface. So the Bella One was used for development, and you can see from the photos here, taken around 2012, 
it looks slightly different, with larger cabin and a boxy engine nacelles. From what I can make out, it only did taxi runs, and in the end the program fizzled out again. As for Bella One, it may be still stored, and if anyone has any information, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed that, that was a bit different. Please like, share, subscribe, drop in a comment as always appreciated and uh, thanks for watching.